Hello, this is Jonathan McKinney. Along with Arno Kandel at H2AI, we've created a project called H2GPT. Like a lot of other projects, we've been interested in building large language models, uh, making the data set high quality, and we published those models on Hugging Face, uh, as well as the data cards on Hugging Face. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a little bit more about our chatbot. Through, it's just a normal chatbot using Gradio. But the interesting thing we've done now is we've allowed it to connect to LangChain. So this allows us to, along with the Chroma database, to access any documents. And you can ask questions and get answers for those documents. And that's nice because, well, what if you're a company and you don't want to send all your documents to OpenAI th through their embeddings to do such a thing, or even ask some questions and then give the context needed to OpenAI, and what do you do? You want it all on premise? Well, you can use our product, which is a lot like a recently released private GPT, which allows you to have all offline private data sources. Uh, but now this is through a chatbot. So let's run this chatbot with LangChain enabled. So just to show you the command, we have Python, and you're going to first have your environment set up, like we described. You call Python generate.py, you choose a base model, it could be any base model, Kuna, Wizard LM, our own GPT models. You can choose whether it's an 8-bit or not. 8-bit will lower the memory by half. And then you choose here, LangChain mode user data. That's like a collection of data we've prepared. And you can choose the visible lane chain modes if you want. And here we're going to choose all of them except for the full Wikipedia one, which is also available. So that's running. The nice thing about this is the database loading is quite fast. Chrome is a great tool. And even if you have the full Wikipedia, it takes no time at all to get going. And there's a little bit of warm up later that might take time, but only a few seconds, even on 20 gigs of a database. So here we are coming up loading the model after we've loaded the databases. Now we start to have the GUI, the Gradio app. And of course you can ask it a normal question that's unrelated to the data you have. And it thinks, you know, in general, we, we set it up to start off with that user data as a resource, but these, these scores are low, it's not really relevant. So if you ask it only as a chat bot, a chat LLM, It'll give you whatever answer it would normally without the database. So you can you don't you're not forced to use the database. But you can also choose a particular database. For example, in this case, it's the HOGPT repo. And so you can ask of the repository some question. And here it is: what is HOGPT? And this is pulled directly from the GitHub repository that was put into the database beforehand. And you can upload your own files and GitHub links into the Gradio app itself, any arbitrary PDF, etc. So you can see here that the sources, if you click on those sources, which are scored, you can say, well, it brought us to the correct place. And you can click on the other one, it brought us to the right place. So you can see exactly what's required. Now you can also choose a collection of documents that we've previously put in, like various archive documents including out of the 200 so PDFs, there's also one that's about Whisper. Uh, and it's a pro related project and it's telling you it's a speech recognition system. And you can then click on the papers and you'll see that well, indeed that is the Whisper paper. If you search for Whisper, you'll see that at some point they say, this is the Whisper, this is, we call this Whisper. So that's great. So you can quickly access the exact document and it gives you a summarization of that question you asked. So that's pretty good. So what if we want to ask something about, so what if you want to ask about one of our other products, Dragless AI, which is AutoML tool, and you wanted to enable NLP with PyTorch and it will tell you just having scoured through all the documents and put it into a database exactly which ones. And it'll give you the sources, source files for those. And lastly, I'll show how you can use the your own data source. You can upload a file, which is any arbitrary file, like a PDF or text file, and add it to your own scratch space. 
that's for your user session here. And once you've uploaded it and you can add it to that scratch space, then you can ask a question. And that question is, well, what is this paper about that, you know, among all the papers I have? Well, it's telling you exactly what you need to know. This is the summarization of that entire paper by just having looked at the paper and putting it into the database. And it'll give you exactly the paper link and you can download it and you can go stare at it. So you can source all of your questions through the vector database. Now, again, you don't have to be forced to use the, the, the databases. You can just choose, for example, LLM, and that will even ignore all the context from the chatbot as well. So you can just get a direct question. If you know that you don't, there's no, what you're asking is completely irrelevant to everything that you've ever done, you can just ask a direct question. And you can see that, well, it should, there's nothing really to summarize if you're just asking a random question out of nowhere, it'll probably just hallucinate. And that's what it does. And so this is just the normal non-chat LLM mode if you ask sort of a, a question that can't answer basically because there's nothing to summarize. But of course you can choose to chat. And if you click chat and you say regenerate and you say the same exact question, it'll be the same exact question. And here I'm just describing that. And you re regenerate and it says, well, actually the summary of the context of the chat is just summarizable. And so we just summarize that. So you can directly control your experience for the vector database and whether even the chat context is included. So that's it for today. Thank you for checking out HOGBT and our LangChan integration. So you can offline in a private way, have question and answers of all your documents. Please check out our Hugging Face page, as well as check out our LLM Studio project developed by another team of Kaggle Grandmasters to do low code fine tuning of models. Have a great day.